everybody, it's Steve Verrier with the FloridaMortgageCenter.com and Lake State Mortgage with your uh, this week's edition for Saturday tips, tricks, techniques, strategies, and things like that. Otherwise, help out your life, business, and personal, you know, all areas of your life. So what we're going to be talking about today, uh, you know, because summer is upon us. I don't know if you guys saw that post I did last week. Uh, we had a heat index here that put temperatures that felt like 111 degrees uh, here in Palm Coast, and we're right by the ocean. So, you know, with those types of uh, heat indexes coming this summer, here's four easy tips for you on how to save some money on your uh, electric bill, because you know the AC is going to be running, right? So, first things first, if you don't have one already, install a ceiling fan. Sure, I mean, it's old school, but listen, a well-placed ceiling fan creates this uh, wind chill effect that lets you raise the thermostat four degrees without a drop in your comfort level. You know, or well, it allows your thermostat to go up. You don't want to raise your thermostat in the summer, but it allows your thermostat to go up four degrees. Um, but you don't feel the difference, okay? So you can find out where to install your fan uh, and how big you need to go. Um, that's that information is all online. They have those uh, poles that drop down if you have those uh, high vaulted ceilings. All right, but um, and in the uh, you actually change the spin when it uh, goes to winter, so you can actually keep your room cooler uh, when it comes winter time. So ceiling fans can make a big difference. That's one technique. All right, the second one, uh, changing your air filter on a regular basis. Okay, dirty filter makes your air conditioner work harder. So the simple act of replacing that air filter can lower your system's energy consumption by up to 15%, and that's according to the U.S. Department of Energy, not me. So change that filter at least once every three months is recommended, but you do want to check it monthly, and if it looks dirty, swap it out. If you're like me, I usually take some Febreze too, and I, I spray some Febreze on it, it makes the house smell nice, all right? So another thing, switching out your bulbs, okay? You know, you know the old pear-shaped bulbs? Um, well, those are costing you money, okay? Um, and it sounds like my last girlfriend, because she, she cost me money. <laughs> but replacing the five most used incandescents in your house with those new bulbs, the, the ones that look like springs and accordions, well, that can save you $75 a year. So, um, you know, take a look at those new bulbs. They are a little more expensive, but they do pay for themselves when it comes to your electric bill. All right, finally, guys, Stop energy drains that are occurring in your house. The, you know, the leaks, those types of things. Um, you know, you, our houses these days, they're, they're full of electronics that still consume energy even when they're not in use. Um, you know, like, for instance, we all have these cell phones. We all charge them typically when we go home. We plug them in. Well, you know, in the morning time, me, I grab my phone, unplug it, and I run out the door, and I completely leave my charger plugged into the wall. Well, believe it or not, it's still sucking electricity and costing me money. I gotta go home and unplug that thing. That's just one thing. All right, so what else is in our house that, even when we think it's not, it's still costing us money? They're like energy vampires. Um, you know, phone chargers, computers that are in sleep mode, um, TVs, cable boxes, you know, plug these types of uh, appliances into a power strip that you turn off, okay? Uh, or you can get one of those smart power strips, actually, that they have nowadays, and it monitors use and it does the job for you. So, guys, lots of ways to save some money, uh, especially with this, uh, uh, you know, hot summer that we're in. So, uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, today's tip, and I hope you have a great weekend. Don't forget, if you're looking for any uh, mortgage needs or you have any questions about financing, uh, give me a shout. I'd love to hear from you. Have a good one.